While students head back to school, security remains on a lot of people's minds. It hasn't even been a year since the shootings at Sandy Hook where 20 children and six adults were killed. The tragedy rocked the nation and put school security plans across the country under review. Last school year, ABC 17's Christy Reeder took us inside Columbia Schools to show us where security lagged and the plans the district had to improve. In a special report tonight, Christy follows up with school officials on what changes they were actually able to accomplish for the new school year. Back in January, Superintendent Chris Belcher told me about several areas where he wanted to see security improve in Columbia schools. He wanted to add buzzing systems, get rid of trailers, and add more cameras and school resource officers. Checking back in, I found some improvements were able to happen this summer, but others may take a while. While summer vacation gave students a chance to catch a break, it gave district officials much needed time to make schools safer. Over the course of the last school year and, and into the summer, we were able to get the buzz and systems installed in just about all of our schools. It's a security improvement parents and students will notice as soon as they walk up to the door. When you arrive at the building, we just ask parents that they um, go ahead and press the dial button, which will ring in the front office. <coughs> School staff will then be able to decide whether to let that person in. This is the only way outsiders can enter middle and elementary schools as doors are locked during school hours. But like Community Relations Director Michelle Baumstark said, not all schools will have this. She says they're still trying to decide what to do at Hickman, Rockbridge, and the Career Center. Those schools are going to be a little bit more challenging as far as being able to secure the doors because of the traffic flow in those buildings. When we talked to Dr. Belcher last school year, he told us the trailers are a concern of his. He says it's a safety and security concern being able to get kids to and from the trailers throughout the middle of the day. Now, some schools were able to get rid of some trailers like here at Hickman High School, but other schools this year had to add trailers. We are still seeing significant growth on the south side of town and the north side of town. We had to add a, a trailer to Two Mile Prairie Elementary School, which is one of our uh, more rural buildings. Um, we also have had to add two trailers to Mill Creek Elementary School. We're seeing a huge growth bubble on the south side of town. Which means more than 100 remain throughout the district. When it came to school resource officers, Belcher had told us the district was trying to get them back. But I found out it's not happening this school year. In fact, the four remaining will only be in the high schools and at the core center. We did set aside some funds for um, SROs to be hired here in the school district when we passed uh, the tax levy back in April. Um, however, we're at, at kind of at an impasse now because there are not enough trained officers in order for, the, for those officers to be assigned to be SROs within our school buildings. School officials took those additional funds and hired a second safety and security coordinator. Along with the police substation at Jefferson, I also found out law enforcement will continue a new effort to make daily stops at the schools not covered by SROs. There will also be more eyes on Columbia schools with the help of new cameras. About 150 are new this year, bringing the total to around 700 in the district. Why is this so important when it comes to security in schools? Well, it really just gives you a picture of where people are in the building. Um, certainly, if there were ever any kind of crisis or emergency situation, we'd be able to have access to see what's going on. For those crisis situations, schools also have new emergency radios. It's a better option than cell phones or other uh, communication devices, which may or may not work in a crisis situation. And with all these security upgrades, it's that crisis situation schools want to avoid. The unfortunate thing that comes out of you know tragedies like what happened um, out in Connecticut is that you do become more aware. Security training continues in Columbia schools. Over the summer, Carl Edwards actually foot the bill for a training session for all employees in the district. Along with training, reviewing security plans will also continue to make sure schools are as safe as they can be. All right, thanks a lot, Christy. Now, these upgrades did not come without a cost. The cameras, buzz-in systems, and new radios cost the district about $140,000.